All right, greetings family. This is Bomani Tamba and Brianna, and we're back. I uh, look to connect with you with another wonderful 2019 year of return information to get you connected to the motherland. And uh, I just have a series of questions and we're going to go through it and uh, connect you with some wonderful information. Yep. Um, okay, so to continue kind of where we just left off in the last video, I want to know more about these tours and your um, repatriation process. And just so first explaining why Ghana and why this has been a place you've chosen to work in. Oh. Perfect. Uh, Ghana, which was the sixth uh, country um, at that time, I've been to a total of nine countries uh, during Ghana. And, uh, excuse me, uh, nine total countries in Africa. And um, now Ghana is the main one that stands out. But at that point, uh, it was um, number, number six. Um, and what you're looking at when you're looking to do these kind of tours and do these kind of business is looking for something that's going to give uh, your customers or give your brothers and sisters that you're looking to reconnect with a whole lot of different options. So when you're thinking about Ghana, you think about 1957, the independence movement, uh, you, which is uh, another, you think about these colors, red, black, green, and gold. You think about uh, the African Holocaust dungeons, the culture of the, uh, the Ashanti kingdom, um, the, the, the cultural and historical artifacts are there in Ghana the wealth of the country, uh, formerly being known as the Gold Coast. Uh, you know, all of those things are make it an I ideal itinerary uh, that connects our people. And then when you're looking at the uh, Emancipation uh, Day, August 1st, that's also set here in Ghana and the, the, the memorial ce uh, celebration as far as our ancestors returning to the, and from going from the door of no return, Cape Coast to the door of return. Uh, mm -hmm. All of these significant things are put in place to where it attracts someone like myself that was born in Jamaica that, that's from a tropical country and then look and looking to actually go somewhere where I can say this is the, you know, the Jamaica of Africa, you know, where all the fruits and vegetables, all the, the, the greenery, the beaches, all those things, you know, you have there. So Ghana, is, for me, is the only country that have all of those elements. Exactly. And then have other countries like, you know, South Africa and Kenya, which I've been to in the past that, I'm lo looking to literally push forward in the future. Mm, I see. And um, so speak to this idea of Black Americans or African Americans here finding it hard to transition into a country that's set up like Ghana. What do you say to that? Yeah, Ghana's probably going to be one of the more easier countries for us to uh, repatriate and have those connections with. Um, that's uh, one of the good things. Um, but when people are looking at it, um, you know, it's, you know, it's a big move. You're moving from America. Now, if you're moving from you know, New York to you know, Georgia, you know, you know, big difference. Everything is kind of connected into the same country and you can literally drive a U-Haul all, all the way down the coast. But now mm -hmm. when it comes to a country like Ghana, now you're looking at a whole bunch of different things and different uh, situations. You're looking at the fact that you know, if you have a large sum of furniture and office and business equipment, you gotta, you know, you're gonna have to get your freight set up. Um, you, then you're looking at um, a situation where you know you have to build your residency and work it to where you know you have to keep checking back in and build the time to where you can eventually get your citizenship. Uh, so all of those things have to be put in place, and it's ideal if it's something that you're working on building. Like we have this uh, community garbage time we're building. So, you know, you want to get something in the pipeline where you're building on it to where the next three to five years when you're ready to make your move, you have things in place and then you'd already develop your business to where your business can function in Ghana. Um, uh, and all of that, it makes it, um, you know, makes it a, you know, a difficult move. But the thing of it is, it's not something that, you know, we have had generations of our people do at a high level or a high percent. It's, you know, it's roughly there are a small percentage of people and then most of those people are, you know, your elders, people are retiring or people who have saved enough or have mapped this thing out to make it work. So the goal for people like myself is to connect people, our people from the African diaspora with these tours, which links them to the clarity of business and investment and also connects them with a community they can invest in and have set up to where they could work for, work for them in the future to where, you know, you know, you have a you have a community where you have your your 
your, your, your water, your electricity, your internet, all those things are taken care of in the deal that God set up for you versus, you know, in this individual system that we live in where, the, you know, the phone company, the water company, all these utility devils are milking you. <laughs> and I mean, I mean, they're just working you over uh, uh, continuously. So that's the benefit of it if you can fight to get to that level to where you can connect and work with your brothers and sisters to where you can build that for your future and your family. And, I, you know, people like myself say it's worth giving up everything for. It was, it was worth, you know, um, now, given the things that most of us just have, you know, you, you know, this comes. I guess it comes in the turf in America. You know, the, these things that are shiny and nice and in a so-called way of comfort. You know, as being on like an, a high-class, comfortable plantation, to where you, you know where life can get so good to where you don't think you're safe, but you're in the position where you're working and giving back your efforts and energy back into a system. And the system is using it to continue their development, to keep you oppressed and keep control of everything that you know you 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 have around you. So, um, you know. I'm going to return to that point um, a yeah. little bit later on, but um, just so I don't forget, tell me about the year of return 2019 and how your work connects to this. Um, actually, um, not really working next year. But what I've done is just have about over the last few years, I've had two itinerary. And that itinerary is the year of, you know, of return itinerary. I've been doing, a, you know, even the first tour from 06. But uh, the special part about our itinerary is uh, we have an incredible uh, naming ceremony. We have a special time at One Africa Resort in Elmina, to where we go to uh, the Cape Coast Holocaust Dungeons, and we are uh, connect to the door of return, and then the door, of, the door of no return, and the door of return, in a sequence to where you get the full flow of reconnecting to. The ancestral land, but even before that, we go to a place called uh, Asin Manso, the last bath, and that's where our ancestors took their last bath before they were auctioned off to the dungeons. Uh, so, in the 1957 Independence uh, City Tour, we do it's all connected to bring you into an element of your reconnection, and we make it as special as possible. The only difference is it's very private, uh, so we have, have people that we're gonna featured throughout the entire journey who have lived in America or live in some parts of the African diaspora now they live there in Ghana they're doing business uh, and you're there to interact and connect with them and they're there to share and their special story then we have an incredible repatriation and investment conference which is ideal for you know if you're looking to return you know when we talk about your return you're looking to return looking to build a future you need that foundation laid you need people who are or lawyers, business people, people who have repatriated, people who have, who have been in and out of different continents, and you know they see Ghana and they, they have you know played a part in how things are going. And those are the people and energy we connect you with. So that's why I say it's, it's it was always designed for that operation of the year return. Uh, but the year return also have a list of different events throughout the entire year that's dedicated to our people returning to the land of the ancestors. Uh, so. Um, I tend to just, you know, make my own program um, uh, when I do tours and not just design a tenor based on what other people are doing and things that's in the country. Right. Okay, gotcha. Um, and that was my last question. Absolutely. All right, family, um, and to get more information about uh, Garvey Town, uh, information about our Africa tours, visit our website, Africa for the Africans.org. And um, you can look at the main menu and you see all these wonderful details and you can reach out to us. And uh, you can link us on uh, Facebook, uh, facebook.com forward slash Bomani and youtube.com uh, forward slash Bomani 2007. So family, check out those details and link back uh, with us. And uh, we'll continue on another session and give you some more updates on our 2019 connection to the ancestral land, Ghana.